how to choose the best tyre for your Suron for off-road use. What I want to do is look at the logic behind how you choose the best tyre. There's several things that we need to consider. One is traction. That's obvious when you want more traction. Two is unsprung weight. Now unsprung weight is the weight of the wheel when it has to move up and down very quickly puts load on your suspension obviously but the heavier the tyre the slower it's going to react to the changes in movement so lighter the tyre the better allows your suspension to react quicker heavier worse the third thing we need to consider is rotational mass so rotational mass is the energy or the mass of the wheel especially on the outside of the wheel the further the mass is away from the center the more effect it has what rotational mass does is the more you have the more energy is required to spin the wheel so what that's doing is directing uh, power away from your forward motion into just trying to turn the wheel so it has a great effect on electric vehicles it's not a, a motocross bike with 40 horsepower you're going to feel the difference if you have a heavier tire so the objective is you need a light tire to improve your rotational mass and to lose less energy from your motor. Let's face it, you only have you know, a few horsepower and every little bit that you take away, you're gonna feel that in acceleration. So looking at those three factors, the standard CST is actually quite a good tire. So it weighs just under two kilos. So it's lightweight, good for unsprung mass, good for rotational mass. It does fall down in traction though. So if we compare that to say the same size tire but in a, a different brand, for example on the front of that is a Pirelli Scorpion. So it's very good for off-road use but it's not that good for on the street. It makes a lot of noise, it's a very open knobby. So you've got plenty of choices in that sort of size. They're all around the well, the Pirelli is about 2.3 kilos, so a little bit heavier. Um, there's also other tyres I'll show you down here further. So, comparing them side by side, truthfully not a lot of difference in the actual traction side of things. So you're not making a massive improvement by going from this one to say, you know, a Pirelli Scorpion or a Dunlop or anything in that size in my opinion. So I want to show you some other tyres that we've considered. So this one's a CST. Now this is like a semi-trail. It's a 2.519. It's a genuine product from Suron. So it's quite skinny. Now this would be good if you ride on the road a lot and occasionally on the trail. It's reasonably lightweight. Um, it's around 2.3 kilos as well. It's a thick apply. But um, I don't know if you can get them in the States. We can get them here. Um, but you know, if you ride just trail only, it's okay. Traction's not going to be great though. This one here is a competition tyre. This is a golden tyre. Now I've used quite a few of these. Quite grippy. It is an improvement over the stock. It's reasonably light. It's around about 2.4 kilo. The issue is it's very soft. So I was finding that if it was a rocky, rocky um, uh, section, I was you know, tearing knobs and probably only lasting a couple of rides under heavy conditions. So it's really a competition only tire. So in the, in the seeking traction, I've tried many other things. So I've gone up a notch. So this one is a golden tire. It's a larger 19 inch. It's 100 by 90, 19. Now it was too wide. I had to shave the knobs off but the issue with this 4.7 kilos so rotational mass is suffered and you could really feel it on the stock bike the acceleration was just you know that sort of snappiness was just shaved off so in my opinion it's useless okay a lot of people like the Shinko now this Shinko is the 3.5 so quite good for sort of semi off-road it's not going to be really good in mud or anything um, too too slippery but the issue with this and this is the larger one 
is again it's three a uh, four point seven kilo so rotational mass is not good and also the circumference it's a lot larger so it alters your gearing so that's not a good choice either in my opinion now there is a smaller one um, we can't actually get it in our country I know you can get it in your in the States so it's probably a better choice than this and I haven't seen the weight on that but a lot of people recommend the the smaller Shinko then I've looked at some other weird alternatives like this is actually a high-end well this is a mountain bike tire um, totally useless didn't fit the rim so where does that leave us well it's quite difficult to fight the perfect tire for the Suron in fact you know for general use the tire that they've selected is a pretty good choice the uh, smaller Shinko is probably a good choice as well but I'd just like to let you know that we're working on a better solution if you can see this two-wheel drive version down here we've got a nice meaty tire on that this one's a golden tire so I'm able to get the full just under um, 100 mil so nearly four inches in there clearing the chain etc and traction's improved on the back of that one I've got a Pirelli Scorpion this one's a golden tire and also going to look at some lighter weight tires now with this solution basically we're not going to up much in the weight so from a rotational mass point of view this is still in the twos but able to get the width for the traction and I found this is a huge improvement does require some work but it's worth the effort and I think it's probably the best choice for the Suron for lighter weight um, I haven't tested this yet but this is a uh, lighter weight um, tire which is around one kilo so it's probably not going to last for long off-road but it'll be fun to try so I hope that gives you some information on how to choose tires my opinion is you need to look for something that's as light as possible if traction is a problem you've got to say to yourself how often do you need that little bit of extra traction if it's you know for a couple of minutes in a long ride well maybe you're better off with a lighter standard tire but that's a personal preference I think if you're really serious about it you need to look at probably this option that we're going to offer fairly soon which will allow you a far wider tire choice and uh, you get a lot better traction I'll run a video on that as well fairly soon um, just just finishing off on the uh, the two-wheel drive tuning and that was the issue we had we were still lacking um, traction in the rear so hopefully I can get that out soon give you some insight into that and um, look forward to uh, trying to develop a few more things for these Surons they're great bikes um, just trying to chip away at all the little issues and hopefully we can make some rocket ships out of them